partially dismantled and buried. All participants have been institutionalized and running. We're still conducting a search for the initial Hexenberg and its born children. Very little can be deciphered. All documents were coded using a special Enigma machine crew. Researchers relating to the project died in the siege. The few that were interrogated revealed some. What we know for certain is that some composition has yet to be determined. The formula was developed focusing in adapting folklore remedies and various eponymous witches' brews. Primarily include toxic flora, for example, something akin to a during pregnancy. We are unsure of the results, but most led to birth defects according to our interrogations. The most important information was an undecided side effect on cognitive performance. All subjects showed noticeable improvement in cognition and no longer required regular sleep pattern. KVD Anomalous Materials and Activities Research Division decided to move forward with testing HCD-79 on returning prison volunteer soldiers to see its effectiveness as a combat stimulant. A former bunker at a classified location was converted into a makeshift hospital. As of this report, all attempts to reverse engineer HCD-79 have been cancelled. Test logs condensed. Day 1. The volunteers are led into the quarters, 8 males and 8 females. The males will be referred to as M1 through M8. Females will be referred to as F1 through F8. All subjects, all combat veterans, all found guilty of While clemency and pardons were told verbally to all participants, they were to be transferred to an asylum regardless of test results as to protect Project Vasilisa. All subjects received a 3mm dosage orally once a day. Received complaints of taste, numbness of the tongue, and headache. Alertness did not seem affected initially. Cognition tests revealed very little outside of their initial baseline. However, participants showed more interest in performing than the baseline readings. Day 2. Tests began again with little improvement. New symptoms include photosensitivity. Day 3. All subjects report very little sleep. Subjects are complaining about the brightness of the light. Two subjects eat near each Cognition testing has revealed a new trend. They were often confused as to who was being addressed during the test. A new test was developed to see the limit. Day 4. Group Think Test 1 involves showing playing cards to subjects and seated directly across from the interviewer. A second subject is positioned behind the interviewee, facing away from the interviewer. And 6 confirms he cannot see the interviewer. He hesitates before doing so. M4 is shown the Queen of Hearts. M6 answers with the Queen of Hearts. This continues. The results have a 70% margin of success. The subject's photosensitivity has increased. They are actively attempting to create little lampshades to dim down the lighting fixtures. They did not stop when instructed to. Subjects are agitated and getting into arguments with one another, accusing each other of stealing stories or memory. As you begin to argue incoherently about who is from where and what had transpired in their youth, often the argument will switch voices between the two, taking each other's talking points and reversing the accusation. Day 5. The lighting fixtures have begun to fluctuate. An unknown electrical anomaly appears to be occurring in the bunker's interior. They do not sleep at all, nor appear to be aware of their sleep deprivation. They were escorted to their seats by the researchers physically. Test 12. Two of Aces replies to F6, who is sitting within a 2 meter radius. F6 is instructed to be good radius. Said F1 and F5 attempt F6 must be removed physically. The researchers are beginning to refer to the test as herding cats. Disorganized and blurry egos and identities of the test subjects make it impossible. M3 is observed near a lighting fixture. He attempts to dim it with his mind. It does, in fact, dim a minuscule but measurable amount. When doing so, he recalls the pain, but him alone. Researchers bring F7 and M8 to another fixture and coax them to work together. After one attempt, they appear to have an atonic seizure and must stop. They do not. They ask M4 to describe the sensation in his hand. Researcher proceeds to prop the individual fingers of F3's hand. M4 answers correctly as to what finger on what hand is being manipulated. M4 stumbles and becomes violent once this occurs, attempting to hit the researcher. However, their impaired coordination and blurred senses make it difficult for M4 to properly gauge distance and location. I are complaining of headaches and nausea when in too close proximity to the subjects. Day 6. All the subjects are angered and paranoid. They accuse the researchers of holding them prisoner. The researchers deny this, but the subjects are demanding to be released. Planning to keep us here forever. The guards are brought in to subdue the subjects. However, the subjects appear to have developed a precognition. They rally and form a human shield using the researchers. They escape into an adjacent corridor, but at this point the guards have reached them. Subjects M4 and M5 hold the researchers hostage with makeshift weapons. Subjects F1 and F3 have circled around the hall to flank the guards with their own makeshift weapons. The rest begin to escape down a special corridor. They are familiar with it despite never having seen it before. 
surviving guards testify that they found their movements predicted. They were subdued temporarily, but all remaining guards suffered a sort of atonic seizure that allowed them to escape, and before is killed during the melee. The facility is placed on lockdown, and the remaining guard the ventilation is now being flooded with airborne sensitive. Day 9. The surviving subjects are found unconscious. They have now been moved to separate asylums, and they are under close guard and in total isolation. No one is allowed within 3 meters of them for longer than 1 minute. All researchers have been quarantined until further notice. The remaining reserves of HCD-79 have been moved to a more secure facility. End of report.